Welcome back. The semiconductor stocks are pulling back today after soaring over the past few weeks. You got names like NVIDIA and AMD down four to six percent. All of this as the chip shortage remains in pretty full swing, but our next guest may have a solution. Navitas Semiconductor makes their chips out of gallium nitride instead of silicon, which the company is betting can insulate it from the worst effects of the shortage. Despite reporting just $5 million in revenue this quarter, they were valued around a $1 billion in their SPAC debut last month. Joining us now is Navitas co-founder and CEO Gene Sheridan. Gene, welcome. Thanks for having me. How Are, are you the only company working on this newer technology? We're not the only, uh, but we're the early market and technology leader. We have the most advanced, integrated, and higher, highest performance version of the GAN technology. And what is the implication if you're able to use this and deploy it more widely than the traditional silicon chips? Yeah, a number of big implications. On the supply chain challenges, as you brought up, we can produce up to five times more chips per wafer, and the semiconductor world is constrained by wafers. You can also upgrade older silicon fabs for very low money to breathe new life into older low-cost fabs to produce GAN in those factories for decades to come. But probably the bigger benefit is the huge energy savings. We basically make electrical energy 40% more efficient, lower cost, fast, faster charging, and smaller size. And really the whole world is about to move fundamentally from fossil fuels to electrical energy. We're gonna make that transition happen even faster. Would you say that you're a rival of the traditional chip names that I just mentioned? In some ways, gallium nitride is a specific field. It's already popular in LEDs and displays. It's popular in um, wireless data, like 5G base stations. We're going to make it popular in the world of power electronics, which is a specialized but huge field, over $20 billion opportunity. We're going to displace silicon in that $20 billion power space with GAN to make electricity more efficient, lower cost, and faster charging. So, so Gene, it, Gene, it's Dom here. We just showed uh, some of the competitors out there, much larger, of course, than yours, more established players out there who have a lot of size and scale. It took them decades to get to that point. What exactly is the scalability? How fast can you actually ramp up the production capacity, capability, and, and product spectrum for this kind of technology at a company like yours? Great, great question. We've done this only in seven years, which is a relatively short time, as you're implying. We did it because of a great, deeply experienced team. We spent our whole careers, decades in the space. We know it extremely well. But we also produce something that's highly integrated, much more so than any other competitor. We're integrating power analog, even logic circuits, all into a single chip. That makes the entire system cheaper, smaller, simpler, faster, and more efficient. So it's a very compelling technology story but also as you bring up very scalable. We simply make larger versions of these chips to handle different higher power applications. Today, we're already dominant in powering fast chargers for your laptops and phones up to three times faster charging in a smaller size, lighter weight. Now we're making higher power versions of that to go into GAN-based data centers, solar inverters, and electric vehicles. So it's a very scalable business and the technology we have allows us to uniquely deliver that in a relatively short period of time. Gene, if I could follow up on that, we've, we've got an electric vehicle theme, if you haven't noticed today, because of Rivian. H how important is the EV space to a company like yours? I is it going to be a big part of your strategic plan going forward? It is. It's actually the single largest opportunity. It's the longest to penetrate, because obviously today it's, it's accelerating, but it's still three to four years to develop a new EV. But as that comes into gear and adopts scan. We're delivering similar to the phones. We're going to be up to five, three times faster charging with half the size and weight. We'll also make all the electronics in the car more energy efficient, which means the battery will actually extend the driving range of the car. Or conversely, for the same driving range, you can cut the size, weight, and most importantly, the cost of the EV. So by extending range, faster charging, and lower cost, those are all really big factors in driving the acceleration of adoption of EVs. Speed is key for so many of those markets there. Gene Sheridan and Navitas, thank you very much. We appreciate it, sir. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Dominic. Thanks for having me.